Scorpio, welcome to your reading for the week of 2nd until the 9th of September. We're going to start with who or what is coming towards you. Um, starting with the present, the home, the heart, nine of wands. So talk about the home. So this is the generational cycle breaker. This is Sagittarius energy. I'm getting an energy of protection for you here. Uh, you see that nine of wands, they've come such a long way. And now here they are. I'm also picking up a monitoring. So something could be happening around you, like in terms of your environment. So something to be aware of. We'll get more about this. But this is definitely an energy of resilience on your part. In the crossing position, King of Swords, so upright, the King of Swords is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Uh, this is also about, ooh, when I see the King of Swords, for some reason, I see someone who is, you see that red rope they have underneath. It says a lot of shadowy, it can be really shadowy, just like other cards actually, but I'm getting a very shadowy energy here, and perhaps you also are sitting in your clarity about, about a situation, it's like you are keeping on the lookout, it's like with this situation, this person, this energy, you can't look away. It's not paranoia, but then you need to stay a lot. Mm. Because this is how this person is. Like, they keep you on your toes. Now, I'm also getting someone who is head over heart, which could be connected to the same person or the same situation. But whatever the case, I feel like you're definitely on your feet regarding this now this person is talking you so you may be receiving and it could even be more than one person because i feel like this energy is because these are shadows they could follow you everywhere including neighbors uh, yeah people around you so I feel like you are sitting in your clarity here about a lot, <laughs> a lot going on and it's helping you to stay a lot. So this could even be like a new group of friends, for example, social circle or new connections. Just as a way of staying a lot, like knowing your journey, knowing where you have, like where you've been. In the past position, Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment, spiritual fulfillment. In terms of context, this could be about a community. Um, yeah, I feel like community will definitely be highlighted going forward with Venus in the sign of Libra. And we're coming towards after Virgo season, Libra season. So a lot to do with intuition, even with the full moon in Pisces, like heightened perception. And then with that heightened perception, you're receiving a lot of clarity, a lot of truth within you and between you and the divine. Also, you're getting answers. So it's a kind of bittersweet. And that is what justice is. It's about bit, bittersweet uh, experiences. So there could be a highlight of community or something that you have ended up ended a cycle with as this uh, pattern breaker, a cycle breaker. And here you are right now. It's like a lot is making you be a lot. And that is really good. I like this energy. It's crisp. It's clear. It's like you just know. In the future position, King of Cups. Cancer Pisces Scorpio, so there could be a, a water sign in the picture. This is also about someone who is in a place of practice, in a, a kind of practice, perhaps a doctor, a kind of professional in, to do with health or even holding space in general. So like a health, mental health, for example, right? Or healing or even something like this. But yeah, this person is definitely, they have a lot of experience. Perhaps there is a situation where you're sitting in your experience or there could be a water sign coming towards you. In the root area, five of swords, troubled waters, defeat. In the root is always like it can show our own subconscious. 
so that can be connected to the head area so perhaps whatever is going on here and this is connected to what came at the beginning about the shadow energies remember pluto is retrograding into capricorn so there's definitely a lot of these energies coming up and being a lot is the way to go so the five of swords coming here definitely could be to do with like headaches evil eye or just feeling some energies on you and you're being guided to be resilient there's that resilience at the heart area that is the highlight in the crown area two of swords hmm. indecision so something may put you at the crossroads here maybe a decision that you need to make or there could be someone in your energy who could be feeling that way actually at any point of this message you could apply this to different situations different people five and two is seven swords so it feels like a sabotaging a sabotaging energy protect yourself cleanse your home put out those incense you know the cleansing the cleansing uh, stuff in the area of approach queen of cups cancer pisces scorpio so there's king of cups queen of cups two different people maybe or the same person it could be you like aligning with that feminine masculine knowing where you show up in your masculine and where you hone into your intuition the queen of cups is caring motherly there could be a mother figure in the picture as well now this queen of cups coming in the area of approach could be a water sign approaching you could be you approaching a water sign it could also be a form of grounding here maybe self-care you could be doing some self-care practices outside influences ace of wands light revelation so something is coming to light here or you are shining your light that is connected to solar plexus i feel like your light is definitely shining uh, seven of swords two and five seven there it goes hopes and fears there could be a situation where you are you see with all this alertness you also have learned to become strategic when it comes to communication it can be like <laughs> you know that kind of thing uh, ten of cups happy family happy environment let's keep it that way and the only downside of ten of cups is indeed that it can come with manipulative energies but it feels like you are balancing in balancing it out seven seven uh, adds up to 14 sagittarius so you do have a spirit guide that is protecting you that is watching over you this could be an air sign as well someone connected to justice like everything to do with protecting your divine inheritance and you know when we talk about divine inheritance i always say this it is a lot to do with the peace of mind so perhaps you have even moved places or situations and you may not feel like there is safety right and your spirit guides want you to know that they are with you and this is archangel michael or a fiery sign as well for the outcome page of cups so this could be a water sign a young person uh, this page of cups is giving me innocence all right so it could be you connecting to your inner child there could be a younger person in the picture or even your intuition heightened here something connected to your dream space 
a lot to do with dreaminess or connection to visions and goals. At the bottom of the deck, <laughs> justice. It's all about justice for you. It's really all about justice. And what do we have at the bottom? I see the hermit popping up. Four of swords and death together with three of pentacles. There's a complete ending happening. You could be moving. And there's the hermit, so Virgo. So there could be a Virgo in the picture, Virgo Scorpio. Now this three of pentacles is feeling like collaboration. Four of swords, a kind of meditation. So perhaps you have gone into isolation. You see the hermit and four of swords, isolation, hermit mode, retreating, a kind of checking for answers or looking for answers so this has come as major transformation so this is a form of rebirth for you a rebirth and also going deeper into the shadows which is where like you know it's healing you know it's work like that staying a lot but it's you being in your power so it's empowering it's energizing so this is why you are being noticed, you know, by outsiders or people on the outside. You are being noticed. You don't even have to try because it's about your confidence. You're receiving some kind of justice here. So let's see what this is about. Five of Swords. the tower so i yeah be aware of this thing that could come like headaches it's connected to your memory like your return of memory hmm. and they don't want you to have your memory they don't want you to remember why two of swords King of Swords again. They want you to stay at the crossroads. Two and one is three. But then everything is being sent back to them. So this is going to be a huge shake up. <laughs> Literally a huge one. It may come with like an overwhelming emotions. It may come like a massive release. And perhaps this is where you are connecting with your nurturing side, you know. And this is just, I feel it's balanced. That is justice, right? It's balanced, bittersweet again. So whatever is coming is definitely a mixture. And this is to do with your justice because there is a turn back around of whatever they're sending. You take what you need and 99% or 99999% of it goes back. It goes back. Talk about the number nine there, the hermit as well. This may feel like an attack, okay? Uh, King of Cups. The Magician. Manifestation. So these shadow energies are up to no good. <laughs> In general, they're up to no good. But this time around, they have themselves to face... Because everything you put in the pot right now, you take back. Everything you swing around, it comes back around. So this is what, you see how they're swinging that? It's going back. The magician could also be you in this manifestation, you know, all about your creativity. I'm really getting the shadow side of this. <laughs> for the magician 
but I feel like you also your holding of space your your focus is helping you whatever you're doing could be to do with generosity it's keeping you in balance it's keeping you in a state of justice a king of swords two of swords coming together that is three swords a lot of justice energy for you you could have some connection with libra as well um or even this is mercury mercury in the sign of leo is revealing a lot queen of cups six of cups so this could be you reminiscing the past with this return of memory so there could be stuff coming to you here yeah this is to do with your memory for sure queen of cups and six of cups seven cups or so whatever could potentially cause you confusion or conflict you are transmuting that you're alchemizing it and that is what is returning you to your power ace of wands and three of swords everything is in alignment here <laughs> is in alignment there's a lot of swords no doubt and then the combination of water is balancing it out and this is where we have the highlight as nine of wands so this three of swords with outside influences could be you see that coming it's not together but this is together in the area of outside influences so this could be someone feeling like really maybe heartbroken this is connected to the throat area as well so perhaps something is being revealed to you about some situations and it may cause this i love the number three okay believe it or not i do like the number three because it's better than being in that number two it shows that you've come to the next stage or you've come to some clarity that is helping you to to be on the move like no matter how hurtful it is it helps you to release what is not serving you you know the heaviness the burden seven of swords two of swords i feel like there's someone in your energy here as well who could be experiencing this you have a lot of air here gemini libra aquarius it's either someone in your energy or it's you page of cups ten of pentacles i mean with all of this right it's beautiful it's a really calm energy it's also a lot of healing a lot of mental stuff where you are or where you're being in a place where you're connecting more with your emotions and your softness yeah i'm getting a lot of softness on your part and this is what keeps you this is what keeps you so the ten of pentacles page of cups it feels fantastic you really are a generational cycle breaker you really are a pattern breaker and you know what that means um and these energies yeah they they just have to watch right now but the thing is they will never show you they will never show you how they experience it but you will know and all you're being guided to do here is to stay a lot and know that you're right on track i see ten of cups ten of pentacles 
the nine of wands is being backed up by this ace of wands so you're taking off what is heavy and you have ignited that fire that flame there could also be a twin flame connection apart from the shadowy parts of this reading there could be a twin flame connection i'm going to look at the timer just to see where to put that so the twin flame connection could be this uh, three of swords or maybe a high level soulmate this one doesn't feel a lot shadowy so someone could be wanting to come in here now whatever the case it feels like you're going to be seeing more clearly the situations Perhaps this is why I picked up the head over heart because yeah, this situation may be head over heart like avoidant. But what is going to happen will help you to be even clearer about your destination. Temperance, Sagittarius, there. this is nine of wands. If your spirit guys want you to know that they're working with you at the bottom of the deck six of swords really calm embodiment return of memory a lot of cellular regeneration that is going on so but it feels like you you have a new surge of energy that has come in even though that nine of wands could outweigh this ace of wands is still helping you to to keep moving not even pushing i'm not getting pushing here high priestess harness mystic power hunter track down your fears and desires so this is sitting with those fears both fears and fearlessness right now all together adding up to fearlessness hunter so there could be a lot going on in your dream space that could feel like battles. 48 is 12. Shift in perception, a shift in worlds there. Or even a turn around. Yep, it's turning around. Whatever they're sending is turning around. They can only fight for so long, not that they will stop anyway. Track down all of your fearful thoughts and feelings. When you find them, you will find your desires too. The Hunter card is based on my favorite Celtic god Cerninus. He is the stag god of the wild and represents both the hunted and the hunter. Similarly, the hunter helps you connect with an energy that is both fearful and fearless. Your fears are the only things that are standing between you and what you desire at this time. So, you have to come face to face with them as the hunter does with wild animals and go beyond them. Instead of being hunted down by your fears or other feelings that you have buried, become the hunter. You are being given confidence and strength at this time, so use your power to make a difference. You are not here to cower away or live in the shadows. You are here to realize your fullest potential, but this can only occur when you step up and do what needs to be done. When this card arises, there could be an opportunity to face an aspect of your past or bring closure to a situation that has been haunting you. If you are a man or identify as male, this card represents your masculinity and an opportunity to know, your, to know yourself more deeply. If you are a female or identify as female, this card represents your capacity to be strong and powerful and overcome limitations. High Priestess Align with the light and focus on all things positive. You are a mystic with the capacity to connect with the energies that go beyond the human senses. Within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will. There is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time, but it requires dedication and discipline. You are being guided to look at what you are working on or at the situation before you and determine where your priorities lie. If you are unable to figure that out, you must use your intuition and discernment to focus on what will bring you closer to your goal and the happiness of everyone involved. When this card arrives, it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you guidance that will be important for your growth. Wow. Right, Scorpio, I'm going to stop here for now. I wish you a blessed week and I'll see you with more videos. Do take care. Bye-bye.